All right, guys, got a tire machine in the day. Uh, don't know where I'm gonna put it because uh, the shop is not up yet. That probably won't be here till possibly the end of the year or beginning of next, apparently. So I'm gonna pull this thing out of the box and start putting it together. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description of where I got it at, uh, what I paid for it, and then, you know what, down the road, I have to give a review on it. So we're gonna go ahead and start unboxing this thing. And once I get everything out, I'll start doing a time lapse and put it together. <laughs> Forgot to turn my mic on there. So here's a first look at it. Ideal, a division of Tuxedo Distributors LLC. Packaged pretty decently. Um, the fun part is just gonna be having to put it all together here shortly. Actually get it off my trailer without a, without a forklift. That's gonna be the fun part. Not sure how I'm gonna do that just yet. But like I said, it's gonna end up in my garage for a while first because the shop is probably not gonna be here for a few more months, unfortunately, even though everything else is ready to go. But a good looking machine. Um, I think I paid $1,897 for it. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below uh, where I got it. Heck, I might even just post a little picture right about here. That's where I got it from, guys. Uh, got here pretty fast. It only took five days, I guess, maybe maybe a week, roughly, to get it. So now I'm going to go ahead and figure out how the heck I'm going to get it off my trailer. I'm going to stick it together, and uh, I'll show you guys shot afterwards. All right, so far everything's been really nice. I've uh, got got it off pretty easily. Actually, I just rocked it back and forth. I put it on a wheeled roller so I could get it here into the garage. Uh, everything looks really good. Uh, everything's boxed up nice and neat. The spring, all the plastic stuff. Um, hoses, everything, everything down in here, everything you need, instruction manual. Of course, I got this sitting over here and the bead breaker there. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, do a time lapse of me putting this thing together. It's probably going to take a little bit. Uh, going to follow exactly what the manual says. That way we don't run any issues down the road. Again, I'll leave a link in the description for this thing. dropped you as you guys can tell it comes with a bunch of uh, extra parts for your sliders and all that stuff to go underneath here so you don't ruin any rims the pieces here that hold basically the plastic pieces that hold that so you get four extra ones of those get two extra ones of these a couple extra ones and one of those uh, there's a few more things I gotta do for setup but I just want to show you guys that
All right, you guys saw the time lapse we put it together. It's actually pretty simple. I was just making sure I read all the instructions. Uh, these bolts were torqued to 70 newton meters up here. That was uh, 18 millimeter. The nut down there, I'm going to leave it out here. I'm not going to go away. It gives me a little more space to pull out. You guys see that? That was a 27 millimeter. Use a spring puller, put the spring on here and there, pulls it back in. Came with a nice little uh, spoon. So we got one of those. And each one of these has a serial number on it, serial number four, and so did these. So I just put them in the same spot where they go. I don't think it really matters. You can see you got rotation in and out and bead breaker. Um, just let me put on the uh, air tool right here. So we got that with a little hanger I put on. Uh, there is no uh, brush or anything that came with it or any lubricant for that. Most of the time a lot of people will use soap and water. Works pretty good too. Uh, so let's see. You guys watched it come out. Let's go on and step on the pedal. Watch it come in. We're going to go ahead and rotate one way. 110 amp or 110, 110 volt. Uh, got to run off the extension cord right now. Go the other way. Got to lift the toe up underneath it. Speed breaker. Yeah. Everything works really, really well. Come in with this. That guy's a little, little tight, but you know what? It'll get loose with time. Had to put the spring in there, put it down, lock it in place when you're where you want to be. There we go. I'm actually pretty, pretty good looking machine. Pretty nice machine for, uh, just about 1900 bucks. Uh, had it shipped to, uh, Vehicles Unlimited in Springfield, Missouri. My buddy works at that shop. They did me a huge favor, so I had to pay, uh, lift gate fees or anything like that. Uh, they just took a forklift through it on my trailer for me and now got to find a home for it somewhere in this mess so <laughs> we'll see what's going on hopefully the shop will be up sooner than later uh and like i said i'll give you guys a review on this uh down the road uh and like i said i'm gonna post that uh description down below and then of course i'll you know pop that picture up right there again um hopefully i remember to do that and get a picture of that but again uh, great little machine so far. Get ready to do some tire changes, see how it turns out. Uh, gonna find a spot for it here in the garage until the building comes up. So, I'll keep you guys posted. Again, got any questions about motorcycles, ATVs, or UTVs, uh, hit me up at Limitless Power Sports 78 Gmail. Find me on Facebook at Limitless Power Sports. Here on, uh, YouTube, Limitless Power Sports, uh, service and repair. Uh, you know, and again, 97.2% of people are subscribed to my channel. Man, that would help me out if I get that thousand subscribers. We're slowly climbing the ladder there. Uh, so, you know, again, guys, subscribe. It's free. It helps the channel out. And, uh, it's a good way to support a friend. Appreciate it, guys. Again, I am Kyle, Limitless Power Sports Service Repair. And I'll catch you guys on the next upload.